There are lots of people in today's story. This is Jacob, who had at least 13 children. We don't have that many storytellers, so here are just a few of Jacob's sons when they grew up. Welcome to Open the Book. If you want to, you can join in today saying, What a mess, what a mess, what a horrible mess, what a horrible mess that was. Like this. What a mess, what a mess, what a horrible mess. What a horrible mess that was. What a mess, what a mess, what a horrible mess, what a horrible mess that was. That's brilliant. Let's get started. Hello. Today's story is about one of the most famous families in the Bible. Do you remember Abraham and Sarah and their son Isaac? Well, Today we're going to meet Isaac's son Jacob and his family. I'm afraid it's quite a mess, but as always God knows what he's doing. So let's look in the Bible at the story that we've called What a Mess. Jacob did so many bad things. He lied to his blind father and stole from his brother. Things were so bad that Jacob ran away from his family. He fled to Haran and there he met a beautiful girl called Rachel. I'm going to start a new family thought Jacob. He told Laban, Rachel's father, that he wanted to marry Rachel. On the day of the wedding, Jacob got so drunk that he didn't notice that the girl he was marrying wasn't Rachel. When he woke up the following morning, he found he had married Leah, Rachel's sister. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. What a horrible mess. What a horrible mess that was. Jacob went to Laban and complained. But Laban said, the older sister must get married before the younger one. But you can marry Rachel as well. So Jacob had two wives and both of them were unhappy. One after the other, Leah gave birth to four sons. Rachel was really angry because she didn't even have one baby. She told Jacob to have a baby with her maid. Over the years, three different women had loads of babies with Jacob. What a mess! What a mess! What a mess! What a horrible mess! What a horrible mess that was! At last, Rachel had a baby. They called him Joseph. And he was Jacob's favourite. Jacob spoilt Joseph, letting him stay at home while his ten brothers worked in the fields. When Jacob gave Joseph an amazing coat, his brothers were furious. Joseph had dreams in which he ruled over everyone else like a king. He boasted about his dreams and made everyone even more angry. One day, Jacob said to Joseph, 
Go and see where the old brothers are working. So Joseph went to the fields. His brothers were furious. They decided to throw Joseph down a dry well and leave him there to die. Reuben, who was the oldest, was not happy about this, but he couldn't stop his brothers. He left them to it, but planned to come back later and rescue Joseph. While Reuben was away, some slave traders came along. Joseph's brothers were delighted. Now they could get rid of Joseph and make some money. They took Joseph's special coat and sold Joseph to the slave traders. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. What a horrible mess. What a horrible mess that was. When Reuben came back and found the well empty, he was horrified. What are we going to tell father? he asked. The brothers tore Joseph's coat and dipped it in some blood. They took it back and showed it to their father. Jacob wept. Joseph must have been killed by a wild animal, he cried. But Jacob still didn't learn from his mistakes. Rachel had had another baby boy. Benjamin, and he now became Jacob's favourite. What a mess! What a mess! What a mess! What a horrible mess! What a horrible mess that was! But even though Jacob had done wrong things, and Joseph had done wrong things, and his older brothers had done wrong things. God loved them and watched over the family. God had a plan for Joseph. Hooray! 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 I told you it was going to be a mess, didn't I? It all comes down to people thinking too much about themselves and not enough about other people. Do you ever try a bit too hard to get what you want and forget about the needs of your friends and family? Close your eyes and try to think of something you could share with somebody else today. Now I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen after me at the end. Dear God, sometimes we think a bit too much about what we want. Please help us today to be thankful for all the good things we have, and help us to share them with other people. Amen.